some cadaver chocolates and a, and a plant, all right? You're gonna invite me over, I'm lonely on this bench. I know, one is the second loneliest member. Ha, ah, put that thing down and gossip with me. Yeah, put it down. Come over here and chit chat, I love to talk. You can't tell that. <laughs> I love the dog. What's your name? Jeff. Jeff? Yeah. What's your last name? I don't have one. You don't have a good answer, because you know I was going to put my name in front of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to be... No, I'm, you with your wife, I settled down. No, no wife. Jeff, where are you from? New Jersey. Jersey. I love New Jersey, boys. <laughs> That's not terrible to say. No, my vocals sound terrible. Well, I'm dead, so my vocal cords have seized up. So what brings you here to the mansion besides getting my invitation that you were having a swallow at the mansion? Jeffrey. Looking to be 1,000. You want to be the 1,000? Uh, yes. Oh, don't eat the cook's chicken. That will guarantee you to be the 1,000 happy haunts, all right? Just putting it out there, FYI, if you're going in, you know, the little dining room, skip the chicken divan. Notice the name? Chicken divan. <laughs> Just saying. And the same thing, oh yeah, you gotta think about what you're eating nowadays. Like, if you're going for a box of chocolates, get the pot of gold, skip the cadaver. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, all right? For all of you who just came to the mansion, my name is Carlotta. I live here, and I died here. Oh. Oh. Um, that was just for effects. How did you die? Oh. You're gonna have to pay money. You're gonna have to pay money for me to hear, for you to hear the story. Well, we did. Oh, chocolate <laughs> You paid them at the front gate, not here. A girl's gotta eat. Do you want some chocolate? Yeah, that will do. That will do. Well, it's funny that you said that. I was thinking about that the other day. The reason why, I'm, oh, hello, friends. Oh, you two are wearing matchy shirts, golfing, bowling, bowling teams. Bowling teams, night out. I like, oh, the Blues Brothers? You're a soul man, ba da ba da. You're a soul man, ba da da da. I know. You, you all aren't used to live entertainment. You're not. You're used to that boob tube and switching and doing that. What do they call that? Uh, swiping left. Swiping left. So, Lady, get your mind out of the gutter. I did not say that. She said it. For all of you, she said it, all right? Talk to me later. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, my goodness. I feel trouble is going to be in my night. It is. Well, my name is Lady or Madam Carlotta, whatever you would like to call me. Just call me because it's lonely at Christmas and Thanksgiving. See, everybody comes out to celebrate with us here at Halloween, but then when Halloween's gone, everybody goes. I don't hear how to hear any of you. So will you promise me that you will ring a ring a ling or come visit me at the mansion any other time? I'm hoping my portrait will be up there someday. Yes. Write in a Carlotta of portrait of Carlotta. You can do the march and all the signs. All right? Woo! We'll get crazy up here. Just, what? Did they just tell me to be quiet? Move out of the neighborhood, sweetie, if you don't like the wildness that's going on here. We're here to have a good time, aren't we? We sing, celebrate good times. Oh, you are ready to go. Well, my butler is going to be coming out here soon. He's adorable. I'm in love with him. I am. I am. He's so handsome. He doesn't give me a wink or an eye or anything, but he'll be coming out here a little later. And before he comes, I'll tell you a little bit about how I died here at this mansion. But you have to promise that you won't pass this story on, that it sticks with us. Okay? Let's hold up our hands. I swear, I swear. never to tell. Never to tell. The story Carlotta is about to make up. <laughs> <laughs> the story that is truthful and honest. Excuse me, boys, I don't see you doing the oh. <laughs> you don't have to if you want to. You don't have to.
that I'll keep it with me till my expiration date. I don't have to say that. That's why I say expiration date. <laughs> All right. I'll turn you. Get ready. It's sort of sad, so get your handkerchiefs out, ladies. Let me see. You ladies don't have handkerchiefs. Oh, good for you, young lady. All right, well, we'll have a talk about that. There you go, because you're going to need it to blot your eyes. And it goes like this. There's a story of a ghost named Colorado. It was Halloween. <laughs> you're killing me. Not one of you said that isn't this remarkably like the Brady Bunch? Yes. Not one of you. So, are you thinking it? I was waiting. Okay. All right. She was having her coming at party. It was October 31st. And she loved some candy. And her mother said, Carlotta and Renata, we must go to the Haunted Mansion for your upcoming out party. And I ran to the coach and jumped inside. And my sister stamped and she cried. I said, come on, we must go to the mansion where we'll dance and eat and drink all night. But it was raining, and it was cold, and the night I didn't know was going to end in fright. <laughs> How did that move back? Look at you! I have you eating out of the you palm of my hand, and not even a clap. Oh, should I finish it last? Yes. Should I take him home? <laughs> We walked into the mansion and everybody's clapping and bowing we're like we were royalty. And we walked up the steps together and we stood on the banister. It felt like forever. As we waited for our names to be announced, I felt like I was slipping are being pushed and the next thing I know I landed on the parquet floor with my sister's ugly puss looking at me <laughs> that's really what happened that's really what happened she pushed, you. she pushed me my sister Renata pushed me I said get off me and I watched my body Float so high into the air and I started to cry Cause I just had this dress I wore tonight But it looked good with me in the sky I just made that part up <laughs> And it rhymed So that's how I died to this day I think my sister and I have pushed me So she was always jealous of me because I ate the last bowl of Tello. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> she, she got mad at me because I ate the last bowl of Tello. So she pushed me because she was behind me. I didn't have slip resistant shoes on. Safety first. And I went over to the banister, banister and she popped on me and squashed me like a bug. So there, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right? All right! All right. Oh, yes. I don't know if I can, I feel like a dentist and I'm pulling their teeth tonight. I think they like me. I feel that they like me. You all, what do you want from me? You want blood? I don't have any because I'm dead. <laughs> You want brain cells? They left the night I got pushed from eating the bowl of jello. She tells it a little differently. Is that Winifred? Winifred? Is that you, Winifred? It's not enough, Winifred, that you have your own castle show. But you have to come over to my celebration over here. Okay, Winnie. 
I think that's Winifred lies. Is that Winifred? All right. Why are you not in Salem? This is your busy time of year, Willie. Huh? 